hello everyone welcome and welcome to this channel if you are new here kindly subscribe and click the bell notification button to get updated in any of our new videos and don't forget to subscribe and also leave a comment let me know what you think about this video all right so guys in this video i would like to just you about don charzy the marvin record boss all you have to do is stay tuned and watch till end all right music executive collins archery popularly known as don jazzy has opened up about some interesting details of his life the marvin founder got candid about his personal life as they talk about relationship and his love life in a recent interview with media personality Nedo on his popular broadcast Franklin Speaking. Don Jazzy confessed that he isn't the type of stay faithful to one woman. According to him, though things might change in the future when he finds his missing rib, but for now he can stay glued to one woman. He said, I wouldn't be able to process the fact that if I like this person, every other person should go to hell. As at now, in my life, when that butterfly eats me like it, eats you people when you fall in love. Maybe I wouldn't say every other person is fucked and this is who I like. Speaking of the qualities he wants in his future wife, Don Jazzy started that he wants a calm and understanding woman. Recall that Don Jazzy was once married to Mitchell Jackson. In 2021, Don Jazzy was managed to keep his love life away from the prying eyes of the media and public shocked when many he revealed that he was once married. He disclosed that he got married to an American model and actor, Mitchell Jackson, about 18 years ago at the age of 20 though the marriage crashed two years later. According to Marvin Records verse, the marriage failed because he devoted his time to music and ignited his family. Sharing some pictures from his wedding, Don Jazzy wrote on social media, For so long, everyone kept asking me when I am getting married. Well, the truth is that almost 18 years ago, I was 20 and I got married to my best friend, Mitchell, at Yad Trust Beach, and it was beautiful. I love you and I love marriage. Mitchell is so beautiful inside and outside with such a soft heart. But then, me being so young and full of dreams, I spoiled it because I was giving all my time to my music. Music became my priority instead of my family. We got divorced when I was 22 and it's odd. I am still very much in love with my music and I would not want to marry another person and mess it up again. So I am taking my time. Why I am just saying this now, I really like to keep my relationship private, actually, past or present, but I was watching the Bounce interview with Ebuka which is almost like a tell-all interview and I felt bad skipping this huge part of my life. So yes, all you all should not be annoyed. Speaking on their crushed marriage with Nigel FM 102.7, Mitchell recounted her sweet time with the music executive. According to her, she and Don Jazzy were married for two years and their union crushed because he was invested in his music. Revealing how she met the singer, Mitchell said they met at a club where he was giving out flyers to people to promote his music group. She disclosed that when she looked at the flyer, she fell in love with the singer and a friend of ours and helped her collect his number. When she reached out to the singer, she paid her a visit at her home and the romance eat up from there. She said, we were married for couples of years, precisely. Two years I met him when he came to my house. Before then, I had seen him at a club 
where he was giving out flyers to promote his group. When I was a flyer, I liked him. I collected his novel. He came visiting me in my house and that was where it all started. So guys, that will be all and I would like to just to more and more about the Marvin record verse, Don Jazzy, Michael Collins Algeria, born 26 November 1982, known professionally as Don Jazzy, is a Nigerian record producer, he is the founder and CEO of Marvin Records. Don Jazzy was co-owner of the now defunct more hits record label with the bunch. Don Jazzy was born Michael Collins Adjere in Umaria, Abria State on 26 November 1982, the son of Collins Enebeli Adjere and Mrs. Adjere. His father is from Isoko in Delta State. His mother is an Igbo princess from Abria State and his father is a member of the Isoko people. Adjere's family moved to Adjegule, Lagos, where Don Jazzy was raised. He was educated at the co-educational high school, Federal Government College, Lagos. Don Jazzy found an interest in music early in life and at the age of 12, began to play the bass, guitar, and piano. He also gained knowledge of traditional and percussion instruments. Don Jazzy enrolled in business management and studied at the Ambrose Ali University, Ekpuma, Edo State. In 2000, Don Jazzy's uncle invited him to play the drums for a local church in London, and that was his first visit to London. Don Jazzy gained employment at McDonald's as a security guard. He continues his interest in music, associating with Solek, JJ's Skills, Cars, Jesse Jacks, the 419 Squared, and the Branch. In 2004, Don Jazzy collaborated with the Branch to form more hit records. In the next two years, Don Jazzy produced the album No Long Thing and Round Down Fuck You Up. Around this time, Don Jazzy developed a recognizable introduction. It's Don Jazzy again. In 2008, Don Chazzy was credited in the production of the Entertainment by the Bunch. He also contributed to the production of Wandy Cool's Machine to More Hits, an album that was described as one of the best albums to ever come out of Nigeria. In 2011, Don Chazzy was employed by Kenya West as a producer at Very Good Beats. Don Chazzy Work with Jay Z and Kenya West on the production of Lift of featuring Beyonce on the album Watch the Turn, which was released on 8 August 2011. In March 2012, Don Jazzy and DeBrange confirmed the breakup of citing artistic differences. On 7 May 2012, Don Jazzy announced a new record label, Marvin Records. He said, I see Marvin Records being the power out of music in Africa in the shortest possible time. On 8 May 2012, he released an album featuring the artist signing to his label. The songs on the album included Amarachi, Forever, Omaka, Take Banana and Chocolate, Yolo, and the anthem I Am a Marvin. Marvin Records signed the vocalist to a savage. Don Jazzy built a social network platform called Marvin League to complement and market his label. Don Jazzy married Michelle Jackson in 2003. He claimed the both had issues as a result of his ambitious nature and subsequently divorced about two years after the wed. However, he doesn't plan to marry again soon because he feared his love and dedication to music we all saw one's feelings again. Adjere as a young brother, the prince. In July 2022, he announced the demise of his model via his Instagram page. In what will come across as a really heartbreaking development, the legendary Nigerian beats maker Don Jazzy and his brother, the prince, a popular Nigerian singer, have lost their model to cancer. 
Well guys, that would be all about this video. The music executive Collins Ajiri, popularly known as Don Jazzy, has opened up about some interesting details of his life. Thank you all for listening to that and thank you for taking your time to watch and listening to my video and please don't forget to like, subscribe and also drop your comments as I bring to you trending news often. Thank you. Bye.